Hey, so I'm working on uh, my engine compartment, just in general. Uh, I don't know how far in you can see, but uh, this right here is my battery box. Uh, you can see the dark patch in the middle. Uh, that's actually uh, it's battery acid that leaked out uh, from the batteries that the previous owner had in here. Uh, this fits two 8D, which are the really big, I think they're 150 pound, uh, lead acid batteries. Uh, one for each engine, uh, starter uh, uh, starter batteries, and uh, then all my electrical for the back for the starter for the engines uh, go here. I also have my battery charger back here, my shore power battery charger, and uh, and I've got uh, what's called a trail charger up front with my hotel batteries. So uh, the the battery charger will charge these first, and then when they're full it'll kick on the trail charger and let the charger charge the hotel batteries and then um, I have my low voltage disconnect which disconnects the starter batteries uh, or I'm sorry disconnects those batteries when they get too low but that trail charger protects uh, the starter batteries from ever getting drained uh, so that they're always fully charged so it's overkill and that's exactly what I want uh, so what's happened is my bilge pump went out and I mounted it under the battery box which is the lowest point in the engine compartment um, so that taught me two things one get a warranty for the bilge pump and uh, two uh, that I should put two bilge pumps in case one goes out so that's what I'm gonna do uh, so I just took the batteries out I just unfastened the battery box I'm gonna begin to disassemble it and work my way to that bilge pump and uh, yeah, and then I'm going to swap them out. I'm going to get to need need, need to get some one-way valves uh, so that one doesn't just pump the water into the other if it's turned off. Uh, so I will document that as I go.